Justin, can you tell me why your Minister of Climate Change is serving on a Communist Council? I'm really concerned about that and he should be off of, as a minister immediately. Why is your climate minister serving on a communist council? Do you think he's enjoying the oysters in there? Man, honestly, I hope he's not. Am I under arrest? No, you're currently. Then leave me alone. You want him out. Well, I think it's time to go. He doesn't have the agenda of the Canadian people. I'm going to get arrested by the Gestapo now, so I should probably leave. and Bexie here with the counter signal on Prince Edward Island in Charlottetown where Justin Trudeau is assembling his cabinet in the dying days of his government with falling poll numbers and complete collapse of public support across the country. He ended his vacation on the west coast in Tofino and has come out to the east coast and he is currently dining in the oyster bar right behind me. I've spoken to the wait staff here and they've confirmed it with me. The RCMP are on edge. You wouldn't believe the amount of RCMP officers that are surrounding this location. In fact, uh, my cameraman and I, as we landed here in Charlottetown, we just saw all these obvious men in black vests trying to be discreet, but they were anything but. And it cued us off that Justin Trudeau and his cabinet were in the building right behind us. And the people that we've spoken with don't seem too happy to have the Prime Minister on this island. If you could say one thing to Trudeau, what would it be? Um, the gas, man. The gas is it's like I can't afford to drive, dude. I just bought a, f***ing, a Ford, dude. Like it's got a V8, man. I can't afford to. I can't afford it, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I still bought it, but it'd be nice to, you know, be able to drive it without. Do you, do you attribute that to the carbon tax? Yeah, yeah. The, f the carbon tax, man. That that is a, that's a scam. Do you think he's enjoying the oysters in there? Man, honestly, I hope he's not. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, yeah. thank you for your time. I'm I probably going to get arrested by the Gestapo now, so I should probably leave. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Right, appreciate yeah, it. He's in that building right there, obviously. Yeah, yeah. If you could say one thing to him right now, what would it be? Uh, what's your next job? Just to go away and never come back. You want him out? Well, I think it's time to go. He doesn't have the agenda of the Canadian people. Are, are you concerned at all about Trudeau's climate minister serving on a Chinese uh, climate Council. I'm really concerned about that, and he should be off of as a minister immediately. Yeah. Lower gas prices and make housing affordable for Canadians. I think that's one real issue that we have. So, do you think he's he's moving the ball in the right direction on that, or do you think he's no. kind of no? I think he's doing bad. I, I I honestly think he's kind of being made. He's he's looking a, a little bit silly. Like I think Pierre is making him look a little silly, right? Justin, can you tell me why your Minister of Climate Change is serving on a Communist Council? Can you tell me about that, Justin? Why are you pushing me into traffic, bro? Hey, you stepped on oh, Why is your Climate Minister serving on a Communist Council? Real. Watch up. Yep. Justin. Don't touch me. Justin. Don't press that line. Okay. That's enough. You don't, no, you stay right there. You I'm paying cross. these guys. You don't cross, you don't cross here. That's the security vehicle. You stay You're right. paying these guys you right. to subvert democracy, to stop Justin Trudeau from answering <laughs> really basic questions. Yeah, it's kind of disgraceful, actually. Yeah, but what? It's okay. No, it's okay. Justin Trudeau is a corrupt prime minister. His cabinet is compromised. For your safety, stay right there, dude. It's be clear to be moving. Just watch out the cars for your, are moving. For, for your hey, safety, uh, you stay right there. Am I under arrest? Are... No, your cars are Then leave me alone. For your own safety. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. see?
Why does it fall to just the counter signal to do this work? Why did we have to fly two journalists out from Alberta to PEI to be the only ones waiting outside of a restaurant for three hours for Justin Trudeau to wrap up, to ask him these very critical questions, questions that the locals here in PEI want answers to, but also Canadians writ large want to know why Justin Trudeau's Minister of Climate Change is serving on a communist committee in Asia. He's serving the Chinese Communist Party and he is supposedly representing the people of Canada in government. Who are the masters of the Trudeau government, of Stephen Gilbo specifically? Why is he prioritizing the interests of China with their net zero plans much later than when he's forcing Alberta and the rest of this country to go net zero? Who is he serving? We deserve answers to that. And the CBC and CTV and Global News should be disgraced that they were not outside of that restaurant asking these questions. We are here all week asking the Trudeau government questions that are really important. We need answers to them. It's critical, it is crucial. And we're gonna stay here until the job's done. If you wanna help us with our hotel, if you wanna help us with uh, our flights getting out here and we just ordered Domino's that hopefully will come to our hotel when we get there. Uh, if you wanna help us with that, you can go to supportthesignal.com it would mean a lot to me so that we can do the work that nobody else is doing because apparently we're just the only ones that care to do it. We're gonna stay on this beat. Please stay along for the ride for the rest of the week while we're here in PEI for Justin Trudeau's cabinet retreat. Are you okay? Yeah. We will continue to keep you informed as this story unfolds.